at the stars, up at the stars I'm caught inside a loop where I can get to your heart Get to your heart Now, about six months ago, I did a video on trim detailers, and there was a new player on the market, and I thought I'd put it up against my current go-to trim detailer, which is Meguiar's Gold Class. Um, on the Jeep, you've got a lot of the flares, especially, if you don't paint them. Um, they're a major part of the vehicle, and they fade really quickly. And up till then, that's what my go-to product is. I put it up against a new product on the market from um, an Australian manufacturer and it was Bowden's Mr Black. I'd heard a lot about this, dubious about the, the spin I suppose, and thought unless I try it for myself I don't really know. And in that video I came to the conclusion that it seemed like a good product, um, although it was a lot more painful to put on than the Meguiar's product and painful to put on. It's got pigments in it and as such you really need to tape off the juco of your vehicle, um, wear gloves when you do it. So I thought let's give it a go and we did uh, the two flares on one side with the Bowden's product and two flares on the other side with the Meguiar's product. And six months on I thought it was time to rehash it and have a look at where things are and to be honest my OCD has got to the point where I can't cope with how it is anymore <laughs> unfortunately at the moment and it's good for this this product review is that because I'm building a new house the Jeep lives outside at the moment so it is at the ravages of weather and um, it really shows up on the flares and what products I'm using. Now during this period I haven't applied both of these anymore. I've left it the way it is. However, as I said, my OCD was reacting badly and I have sprayed some vinyl spray over the four flares when I've washed the vehicle to make it look half decent. The vinyl spray fades off after a couple of weeks and you're left with your base coats. And um, it's been quite interesting what those base coats have turned out like. So enough of the chat, let's have a look at what we're left with. So this side of the vehicle is the Meguiar's product after six months of weathering. You'll uh, understand why I'm keen to um, get these looking better. I mean, this gets a bit of, of fuel dripping on it occasionally, so it, it comes up really bad there. But you can see how the flare's very mottled, very faded, and it's just not a good look at all. Now this is the Bowden's Mr. Black side. And as I said, I haven't reapplied any of these products apart from the initial application. You'll notice it's consistent um, color. It doesn't have the mottly appearance of the Meguiar's side. And whilst it's faded, it's nothing like the other side. If we go and have a look at the back flares, they're exactly the same. They both need reapplication. However, the Bowden's Mr. Black side has turned out so much better than the Meguiar's side. And if we go back over to the Meguiar's side, they look fairly shocking. And all I can put it down to is the pigments in the Bowden's product that make it such a pain in the butt of the Meguiar's to uh, put on the plastic. 
those pigments stay in the plastic. Far, far more better than the Meguiar's product. And longevity is far superior. So that was a really interesting outcome for me. Um, as I've said though, I have sprayed, because I didn't like the look of this side, <laughs> I have sprayed some um, vinyl conditioner over them, but it wears off after a week or two and you're left with your base coat. Um, I have used Bowden's Vinyl Revival and I have used Meguiar's Hot Shine, which I use for my tyres and I quite like that product. But from all of that, after that's worn off, the Mr. Black is consistently, um, has a consistent colour to it. Whereas the Meguiar's side has this blotchy, horrible look to it. So with that, I'm going to do my flares with Bowden's Mr. Black. I'm going to use it going forward. I'm going to do it every four to six weeks. And I think this is going to end up with quite a nice finish on it. Uh, it's going to save me some money because you hardly use anything. I think this was slightly more expensive than the Meguiar's product, um, but going forward, because you use so little of this, this is going to be very cost effective. So if you have a Jeep with plastic flares, buy this, it's good. that's it for today don't forget like and subscribe to the channel if you like what I'm doing um, give me some comments down below on on your thoughts with all these things and uh, we'll see you next time bye now <laughs>